Hello everyone, with your programs in this video we speak about what's new in Flutter 3.27. In this new release we will see an update in Cupertino. Cupertino updates. This release includes hate, uh, fidelity, updates to Cupertino checkbox and Cupertino ratio. Future updates to size, colors, stock widths and behaviors when pressed. There have also been large customizability updates to Cupertino Radio, Cupertino Checkbox and Cupertino Switch, adding properties like mouses, cursor semantic labels, thumb images and fill colors. Cupertino Sliding Segmented Control sees some fidelity updates to its thumb radius, separator height, padding, shadows and thumb scale alignment. It also now supports disabling individual segments and proportional layout based on segment content. Both Cupertino Navigation Bars and Cupertino Sliver Navigation Bars backgrounds are now transparent until content is scrolled under them. You can now apply the iOS 15 Plus button stylus using the new Cupertino button size. You know we the new size style property in Cupertino button. Use the new Cupertino button tended constructor to make buttons with a uh, transparent background. Cupertino picker and Cupertino date picker will now scroll to tapped items. Cupertino alert dialog now supports the tab slide gesture. Cupertino action sheet sees some high fidelity updates including adjusting padding and font size across, all system text size setting and supporting haptic feedback when seeding over buttons. Normalizing material damming. In this release car them, dialog them and tab bar them have been refactored to make them conform to flutters. Conventions for component thems. Car them data, dialog them data and tab bar them data were added to define overrides for the defaults of the component visual properties. Future releases will continue to normalize component thems like this for a more consistent them experience in the material library. More features for carousel view. This release introducts carousel view weight, enabling more dynamic layouts within carousels. More and material. This release includes a number of small future enhancements and bug fixes. Some enhancement examples. Segmented button now has a direction property, so items can be aligned vertically. More icon related properties are added to the style from method for bottom style bottom classes. Elevated button, file button, outlined button, text button, menu item button and submenu button to allow more customization. Mixing road transitions. Model roads are now more flexible when the previews and the new roads have different page transitions. When a new road enters the screen, sometimes they need the previews existing road to play. A certain transition to sync up with the entrance transition of the new road. Text selection improvements. Flutter selection area now supports shift plus click, gesture to more the extent of the selection on the clicked position on Linux, macOS and Windows. Row and column spacing. This release also future a new convince to using row and column spacing. This double parameter will apply a fixed amount of pixels to offset children of rows and columns from each other, reducing the previous amount of code required to do so. Engine Impiler on Android. We are placed to share that Impiler is now the default rendering engine on modern Android devices. While Impiler on these devices has been in preview since Flutters 3.16. Improvements on iOS devices. In previous version of Flutter, users may have experienced an issue in which application on iOS devices. 
watched several milliseconds per frame on compositor back pressure. This back pressure would be observed as the less in the beginning of the raster workload. In many circumstances, this delay caused missed frames and junk. This effect was especially noticeable on height frame rate devices with a smaller frame time budget. Framework weight gamut colors. Flutters now supports deepening UI with colors in the display path 3, color space to take full advantage of displaying on iOS devices. It also has wider bit depth to support more colors in sRGB and display path 3 color spaces. This change has led to the deprecation of some color methods. Web Web improvements. This release brings a variety of improvements to Flutter Web focusing on performance, efficiency and accessibility. Image decoding in Safari and Firefox is now done using an EMG element instead of a web assembly codec for all uh, static images. This removes junk related to image decoding and reduces VSM memory usage. Platform views were optimized to reduce the number of canvas overlays, improving rendering efficiency. All plugins and packages developed by the Flutter team are now compatible with WebAssembly. Multiple accessibility fixes were implemented for heading dialogs, password, iOS, keyboard links and scrollables. A number of rendering bugs were fixed in the canvas kit and Squozen renders, including images, filters, clipping and memory usage of paint objects. Improved drag scrolling in multiple VF mode iOS Swift Package Manager Flutter is migrating to Swift Package Manager. This brings several benefits. Access to Swift Package Ecosystem Flutter plugins will be able to leverage to growing ecosystem to Swift packages. Simpler Flutter installation Swift Package Manager is bundled with Xcode. In the future you won't need to install Ruby and CocoaPods to use Flutter for Apple's platforms. Android H to H. By default on devices running Android 15 Plus, your app will use H to H mode and run in full screen. Support for Freeform. Android Freeform allows users to resize of Windows and has been available as a developer option. Flutter Safe Area and Media Query have been updated to handle hardware cutouts when a thread form window moves into a hardware cutout. Kotlin build script support and declarative plugin migration. Developers can now use build Gradle KTS files. Flutter tooling now supports Kotlin build files. Flutter 3.27 is the last release that will support Gradle's legacy Apple script method. Package Dolan counts on PubDev. Providing more precise popularity metric on PubDev has been the most requested feature in the size issue tracker for a long time. Pub Workspace is launched with Dart 3.6 to support the development of multiple related packages in a single repository. Added automatic publishing of Flutter packages from GitHub. Launch of Interactive Media Ads plugin. A plugin has been added to Flutter Interactive Media Ads EMA, which simplified the integration of multimedia advertising into iOS and Android application created using Flutter. In-app purchase iOS and macOS plugin updates. Added support for Story Kit 2 and a purchase Story Kit to the migration package with the Story Kit 1 API, which was deprecated in iOS 18. DevTools and IDEAs Flutter DevTools updates. This release includes new features, overall improvements to robustness and polish, as well as some existing new experimental features that you can enable it from DevTools. Previews and experimental future to try. Flutter DevTools new Flutter Inspector. The, the Flutter Inspector has undergone some major changes to improve usability and enhance UI debugging journey. Flutter DevTools 
try with WebAssembly, enable the WebAssembly feature in DevTools settings to load the WSM compiled DevTools web app. This should yield better performance than the default GS compiled version of DevTools. This feature is experimental. Breaking changes and deprecations. Material Design 3 tokens. The latest Material Design 3 tokens V6.1 have been applied to the Flutter Material Library. The Material Design tokens updated the mapping of four color rules in light mode only to be more visually appealing while retaining accessibility contrast. On primary container, on secondary container, on tertiary container, on error container. Objective-C iOS projects. Science Flutter 1.9.1 released in 2019. New iOS project use Swift by default. Creating a new object C iOS project is now deprecated. And the Flutter created iOS language object C flag will be removed in a future version of Flutter. You will still be able to open UX code project and add object C files included for plugin. Java continues to be supported for Android apps with the Flutter create Android language Java flag. Deep link default flag. The default value for Flutter's deep linking flag has changed from false to true, meaning deep linking is now opting by default. If you're using Flutter's default deep linking setup, there's no need to manually set the flags to true anymore. However, if you're using third party plugin for deep links such as Firebase Dynamic Links, Any Link, App Links. This update will introduce a breaking change. In this case, you'll need to manually reset the Flutter deep linking flag to false. Support for older SDKs in the IDE has been discontinued. Starting with the release of Dart 3.6, support for Dart SDK versions older than 3.0, released in May 2023, is discontinued. This all in this video, subscribe my channel, add likes and see you the next lesson. Bye.